Hey guys, welcome back to Cool Guy Industry. Today I'm going to be reviewing Starlink, the probably best remote internet service. As you can see, uh, I'm going to do a speed test right here. Now, other people might find better speeds for, like if they're using their phone, you get 5 gigahertz connection. My computer is trapped on a 2.4 bottlenecked at a 56 megabit connection, but it's still a good speed compared to what I used to have. Anyhow, I'm just going to do an update because my computer hasn't been updated in a while. I would assume there's a lot of updates, so I'm just going to go ahead and check with this pseudo apt update. I'm using Top OS by the way. The links will be in the description for that. 154 updates, holy crap. So yeah, you can go ahead and see. APT. Oh wait, no, there you go. You have sudo. Sudo APT upgrade. And you'll see how long it takes to update this. Wow. 425 megabit eight bytes. As you can see, it's already going way quicker than my last Wi Fi. Go ahead and show some speed tests up on the screen while this is going on. This was my first computer speed test that I took. 54, it's not bad. This is what I used to get. I used to get kilobits per second. And then it just kept getting worse and worse until eventually this can even happen. Here's what I get with Starlink on my phone. Yeah, speeds just get better and better. Well, that's the best one I've been able to take so far within this two months. Like we're maybe done around 40 so seconds. This would have taken seven hours on Biasat. That is crazy. Internet providers just won't serve us for no, for some reason. But Starlink gets out here, so that's pretty good. Two minutes and 14 seconds. Holy crap. Yeah, doing this takes forever. I sped this up for the video. Um, it ended up installing, or taking 24 minutes to install all of these updates. It looks like I'm in need of an upgrade for an SSD or something. Speed test here. Do one live for the camera. Maybe net Lars or, or whatever. Not expecting to get two good speeds because it's kind of cloudy out. But we'll see. Got a 56 ping. That's not horribly bad compared to the 600 I used to get. Yeah, this might be a combination of my computer as well as the clouds or something. 
Uh, not too terribly great at speeds. But it's a lot better than what I used to get. Do I think Starlink's worth it? Right now, yes, because there's no other providers that provide something cheaper and as good service as Starlink. aside guys um this is not how you fix get faster internet anyhow comment below if you uh would like to see speeds like this from starlink well, that's pretty much it for the video thanks for watching if you like the video please leave a like and subscribe